The proposed development comes as Baltimore County faces pressure to approve more affordable housing. A third of the state's estimated 96,000 unit housing shortage is in the Baltimore area. But not everyone is satisfied with the zoning changes and believe the project will move forward almost as originally planned under a new state law that goes into effect in January. As citizens, I don't believe we have a whole lot of power in this decision. I think it's going to be made above us. Lutherville residents like Karen Ringeride warn against being fooled by the zoning change. The county council voted to rezone the property next to the Lutherville light rail for single family housing. The move caps the number of apartments to 16 and restricts building heights to 60 feet. So that appeases the community for right now. So everyone can say, oh, we did actually have a vote in all of this. But in the end, the state law that goes into effect in January is going to override anybody's opinion. That legislation signed by the governor requires local jurisdictions to increase development density in areas around transit. The developer Mark Rembaugh's plan had called for 450 apartments, retail and office space. There will be two and a half acres of parks. He has already submitted an application for the state to declare the proposal a transit oriented destination or TOD. Rembaugh issued a statement writing, on its face, the downzoning appears to be an unreasonable limitation to a state transit-oriented development. Lutherville Station is the first real test case for this important legislation. I think for that project is there needs to be compromise between the, between, between the two parties to come to an agreement on, on what's going to work. But to have that property just sit there vacant, I don't know if that's really the answer, answer for it. The developer's TOD and the zoning change is under review by the county executive's office. The county executive supports the idea of the project. Reporting from Lutherville, David Collins, WBIL-TV 11 News.